speed, greater and greater speed. It's in the blood of man. The Concorde, brightest star on the supersonic airline horizon, is the combined undertaking of Britain and France. British contributions are underway at Weybridge, Filton and Preston. Bristol Sidley Olympus engines will give the Concorde close on 1,500 miles an hour. The all-important design of the fuselage was conceived to cope with double the speed of sound. A knitwear factory in Scotland is helping too. There they manufacture the fiberglass material to make the nose cone which houses radar equipment. Metal would interfere with the signals detecting storm clouds. Over to France, Toulouse to be exact, where chiefs of the great aircraft company Sud Aviation held a press conference to report progress of the French part in the Concorde. This tremendous two-nation effort makes the Concorde financially possible. Leaving nothing to chance, Sud Aviation took one section of the fuselage for a test to destruction. The move had to be made at night when there was no traffic to impede the huge transporter. Now the whole world awaits the age of supersonic passenger flight to be inaugurated by the Anglo-French Concorde.